Well, hello there, friend, and welcome back to another episode of Electrified Reviews. Today, we are reviewing the Bentelli Fusion electric bike. The Fusion rides like a moped, and it kind of looks like one, too. The massively powerful headlight is a welcome change from the lantern-bright headlights we are used to seeing. Right off the bat, Bentelli gets big points for this. But the Fusion has much more to offer than just great lighting. That's right, we are talking about style, baby, and the Fusion has got plenty of it. The Fusion starts at $1,999 USD and will be delivered right to your doorstep for free as long as you live in the contiguous United States. They also come pretty much fully assembled, which means you can be out and riding in less time than it takes to watch this review. Seriously, it doesn't take more than just a few minutes. Bentelli also offers a two-year limited warranty, so if anything goes wrong, you are covered. Right, let's talk about the specs. When it comes to speed, the Bentelli Fusion has plenty of it. 25 miles per hour to be precise, which feels even faster than that because of the shorter wheelbase. When you're flying around at top speed, which you can reach with the cadence sensing pedal assist or the half grip twist throttle, it can feel a little sketchy in the corners. Straight line is no problem though. And this is kind of the name of the game with moped style e-bikes like the Fusion. That shorter wheelbase means more maneuverability at slow speeds, but less control at high speeds. Tucked away in the rear wheel, the Fusion has a 750 nominal watt Bafang hub motor. These motors can boost to around 1,250 watts and also have tons of torque, around 85 Newton meters. Bafang motors really are top tier and the 750 watt version is a great choice for the Fusion. It's powerful enough to pop wheelies and burn some rubber, but it's still a bit more efficient than the more powerful 1,000 watt version. If you've got steep hills in your area, don't sweat it. I mean, literally, don't sweat it. That's what the motor's for. The 48 volt battery is housed beneath that big old banana seat and has 12.5 amp hours of juice on tap. That'll get you around 50 miles of range in the best case scenario, but real world scenarios are hardly ever that. So I would expect about half that range with heavy throttle use. At the end of the day though, estimating range is almost a moot point because just like with miles per gallon with a car, it depends a lot on a variety of ever-changing factors like load capacity, how fast you're going, hills, terrain, stop and go, all of that good stuff. Moped style e-bikes like the Fusion are one of my absolute favorites because they're just so relaxing to cruise around on. The banana seat is such a different vibe from the traditional bike saddle and for me, that's a big part of the appeal. It's got a ton of cushion, so it's comfy and it's big enough to accommodate a second rider if you want, and the motor can easily handle that. And with a max load capacity of 330 pounds, the frame can handle it too. Now there is a downside to banana seats. They aren't adjustable in height. This means you are pretty unlikely to get an efficient pedal stroke. And more than that, if you do plan on pedaling a lot, you're probably gonna end up feeling it in your knees. But that's just the name of the game with this style of e-bike. It's a trade-off between pedal efficiency and coolness, if we're being honest. And I would say comfort too. Since we're on the frame, it's worth mentioning that the Fusion is also about as heavy as a barge with a curve weight of nearly 85 pounds. Better get that weightlifting belt out before lifting this one into the back of a truck. The Fusion has a Shimano Turney TX derailleur with a 7-speed cassette and a Shimano SIS index thumb shifter. And if you've watched our reviews before, it won't come as a surprise when I say this is not our favorite style of shifter because your thumb has to travel basically to Mount Everest and back just to switch gears. All right, look, it's not really that bad. And at the end of the day, it really doesn't matter much with the Fusion because we're going to be riding this like a moped, which means we'll be using mostly the throttle anyways. The Bentelli Fusion has Tektro mechanical disc brakes with 160 mm rotors in the front and rear wheels. Mechanical brakes are amazing because they can go for years without needing any maintenance. And when you finally do need to tighten them up again, it takes just a few minutes. But on side B of this tape, we've got a different track. And that one is about stopping power, which like most mechanical disc brakes is fairly underwhelming. Thankfully, the Fusion does have motor inhibitors which instantly cut power to the motor whenever you depress the brake levers. This is a hugely important safety feature because it means you'll never be fighting against that powerful 750 watt motor when you need to slam on the brakes to avoid that rascally banana peel. 
The Fusion is a fat tire e-bike with Kenda 20 inch by 4 inch tires that offer a good deal of suspension. Combined with the inverted front suspension and that extra cushy seat, it's a soft ride. On the electrical side of things, the Fusion is seriously decked out. It's got that massive headlight like we mentioned in the first graph and let me tell you, that thing is bright. You can see the beam in broad daylight, which is always a good sign, and it is most assuredly plenty bright to use as a primary illumination source for night rides. That is not something you hear a lot from electrified reviews. 10 points, Bentelli. On top of that, the Fusion also has a tail light and blinkers in the front and rear. And of course, there's a horn, which is quite loud. Altogether, this makes for an effectively safe ride during the day, evening, or night. The 360 degree lighting means you'll be easy to spot by cars, pedestrians, and other bikers, and it bumps that cool factor up by, I don't know, let's say another 10 points as well. The display on the Bentelli Fusion is super bright, easy to read in direct sunlight, and adjustable. On the left side of the handlebars, we've got switches for the lights, turn signals, horn, and the independent button pad, and on the right side, we've got the half grip twist throttle and the bemoaned SIS index thumb shifter. Overall, the Bentelli Fusion is a win. It's reasonably priced, has tons of power and speed, plenty of range, and exceptional lighting. But let's keep it real. The biggest selling point for the Bentelli Fusion is the cool factor. Remember, this is a moped style electric bike, and while you can pedal, it's really not geared towards that. No, the Fusion is geared for having fun and looking good while you're doing it. All right, enough yapping. Let's roll out.